Now that offices are reopening and less people are working from home, you actually have to look good to go to work. You've been asking for a video like this for a while, so today I wanna to give you seven style tips that will help you look great at work. Now, the first thing you need to do is take a look around you. What do your colleagues wear? This is a great indication of what you should be wearing slash what is acceptable at work. Take note of your office dress code. Depending on where you work, it might be mandatory to wear suits, or it might be optional. And also try to understand, do you have an off day like a casual Friday, for example, right? Back when I used to work in offices, casual Friday was definitely a thing and people looked forward to it so they could wear something that's more casual, more easy breathing. Or maybe you even work in a modern office that allows for casual wear every single day. As some of you know, I worked at Google for three years and a lot of my colleagues would just wear t-shirt and jeans to the office every single day. Some of them, AKA engineers, would also even wear flip flops to work. I wouldn't go that far. Though. But it's good to understand the dress code and to see what everyone else is wearing around you so that you can be within that range. Second tip I have for you is it is very important that you wear the right shoes to work, especially now that your coworkers can actually see your lower half in real life. So give them a good pair of shoes to look at. In an office that requires you to dress up, you're gonna need a brown or black leather pair of shoes, right, to go with your suit. By having a pair of each color, one brown, one black, you can pretty much wear any color suit to work. White or even black leather sneakers could also work, but it depends on how dressy your office is. I say leather sneakers because even though they're sneakers and more casual than leather shoes, of course, they're not as casual as Vans or Converse, right? You should get a pair that looks like this. It's a classic white leather sneaker that can be worn with casual attire like jeans and a t-shirt, or you can actually wear this with a suit, which is something that I've done many times. I've also seen workplaces that allow you to wear fun sneakers, something that stands out. If that's the case, go for something a little crazier, but don't go overboard to try to stand out. A subtle flex is what you should be going for. Like, hey, I know sneakers, I like sneakers. Not like, hey, everyone look at me and my red sneakers. That's too much. Tip number three is to bring the right tech to work. I mean, this is very sleek, right? You want something like this. Depending on where you work, you might wanna bring extra tech equipment, like your iPad, your laptop. And what I would recommend is definitely the MSI Summit E14 Flip Evo laptop. This thing is an absolute beast. It's very light, it's very sleek, it looks amazing. I've showed you guys here before on the channel and I absolutely love this laptop. It's perfect for you guys who work in an office, who want to work on an airplane or in a cafe. It has really great performance. Obviously it's very light and mobile and it also has great security options. Now, one of the coolest things about this 14 inch flipbook is that you can use it as a tablet as well. Check this out, you open the laptop, it looks like a regular laptop, but then it actually flips over and you can use it as a massive tablet. It even comes with the MSI pen, which is a combination of a stylus and a briefing pen so that you can use it for presentations. It's got the latest Intel processor, which is 200% more powerful than the previous one. And another really cool feature about this laptop is the Toby Aware system, which is able to detect a peeker, like somebody behind you. If they're looking at your screen, your screen will actually go blur. And if you're using the laptop and you look away or you walk away from the laptop, the screen automatically goes blurred as well. Now that's next level security. They also have this beautiful 27 inch MSI monitor. It's curved. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And the MSI Aegis ZS gaming desktop, which is a powerful AMD focused desktop computer. that gives you a solid gaming experience. I use it to play F1, the Formula One game, and it's incredible. If you're a gamer, a techie, or you just want a great laptop for work, then check out the first link in the description of this video. I'm gonna link the gaming desktop, the laptop, and the monitor all below. Thank you to MSI for sponsoring today's video. Tip number four is going from Zoom meetings to a physical office means that you have to start wearing pants again, which is a bummer, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't grab the first pair of pants that you see in your closet. The wrong pair can definitely destroy your fit. So a slim fit chino pant is great for any office environment. You can dress them up with a classic button up or you can dress them down with just a regular white t-shirt. They also look great when paired with a blazer. When it comes to chinos, it's really all about the fit. For an office especially, it just needs to be perfect. It shouldn't be too tight around your ankles. It needs to follow your measurements your body, but leaving some room to breathe. And here's a great example of even more casual work attire, also wearing chinos. You see how it works both ways. My recommendation would be to have the chinos slightly more snug around your hips and your thighs, but more loose around your ankles. And when it comes to length, make sure that it just grazes the top of your shoes. It shouldn't break and fold on top of the shoes, which means it's too long. And it also shouldn't come up to your shin, which is just too short. And if your office is more laid back, great, right? A pair of jeans should do the trick. So I recommend you buy a pair that isn't too baggy 
you know, more of a darker wash color. Because darker denim is easier to keep clean, it matches everything, and you can wear it more often than light wash denim. Here's a great example of casual work attire wearing jeans. Five, wear the right fragrance. When you're working in an office, you're usually sitting next to someone all day. And if you're wearing a heavy fragrance, that person is gonna get sick of it. These are the rules when it comes to wearing fragrances to the workspace, okay? Here's what you should always keep in mind. One, don't wear anything that's overwhelming. Something heavy, something musky, it's too much for a workspace. Your fragrance needs to be lighter, more pleasing and easy on the nose. And don't wear too much fragrance. Even if you're wearing that light scent, too much fragrance is going to drown your colleagues in that scent and it goes from smelling good to just being overwhelming and bad. And last, don't spray fragrance right before you walk into the office. Wait for the scent to disperse, you know, before you walk in or people are just gonna go, wow, that's, that's too much. You're trying too hard. By the way, if you made it this far to the video, first of all, thank you, but also hit that subscribe button and join the YouTube family. It would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and started watching my videos if you're new here. Welcome. Tip number six, button up shirts versus t-shirts. What should you be wearing? Again, look around, read the room. Regardless of your office environment, a classic button up white shirt is just a must, right? You can style it by tucking it in and wearing underneath a blazer or even a bomber jacket if you're feeling a little edgy. You can also dress it up under a suit, right? It's just the most versatile shirt that you can have at a workplace. A nice white, crisp, Oxford shirt. In terms of colors, white, navy, and blue is what I suggest. They tend to work well in an office. They're easy to mix and match with other pieces, though if you tend to get sweat marks, I would skip the light blue and I would go for darker colors. But I will say my favorite workplace shirt is a polo. I love polos because you can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear a polo with shorts and look good. You can wear them with a suit when you don't want to wear a tie and it still looks good. You can tuck them in or not. Polos are very, very versatile. This one here is from ATOS Apparel. Next tip is don't be that guy bringing your stuff in a grocery bag to work. Get a nice messenger bag or a leather backpack. You know, a great messenger bag that I recommend is one with a sleek design. It can easily fit your laptop and a couple of books or notebooks. And if you're going for leather, brown or black. That's what I would say. Not even like a light tan. I think that's too much. It's a little more difficult to match. Brown or black. Same for backpacks. I would say don't go for the canvas backpack. Get a leather one. That's going to look so much better. That way you can just put your laptop into your leather backpack or messenger bag and it's going to look so, so good. Guys, don't forget to check out MSI at MSI.com. It's also that first link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button below and that like button because it really helps me grow. Thank you so much for MSI for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching.